Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here again with your business this video and today I wanted to talk about why the change and on top of that I want to give you three business tips that you can kind of take along with you today as well. So um, first and foremost, sorry for anyone who was watching the live stream earlier on. I know that there were a few people on but I apologize. Obviously, I had the damn headset plugged in again. I really need to remember because essentially what I do guys and you're probably wondering why that is. Um, it's because I put my headset on in order to study and then once I do my study then I kind of I sit and I kind of uh, contemplate about what it is that I'm going to talk about, how I'm going to put my own spin on it, and then I produce these videos, right? So sometimes once I get the idea locked in, I want to go live, I punch in the title and I turn on the camera and I forget that I've still got my headset plugged in. So look, I'm sorry about that. So today I wanted to talk about why the change because I know a lot of you that follow me, you know that I talk, I preach, essentially preach about sticking to your goal until right so until you're successful with what it is whatever it is that you're doing right and i'm going to reinforce that with some of the the tips that i'm giving to give you later on but here's the thing life happens and you have to be willing to call an audible right it's better to do the right thing uh once than to kind of fuck up if you will and have to redo it again right so that's essentially what i was doing here there were a number of different things uh, that that's been going on in life and I really had to sit down and think about what was the best idea what was the best method of attack for the goals that I ultimately want to reach and when it really came down to it I spoke to the three most important people or adults I should say in my life right that being my mom my fiance and my mentor uh, and my best friend really so when it came down to that I, I really after I spoke to them they all essentially said the same thing now when the three most important people in your life say the same thing you need to be willing to kill your ego and, and and listen up to what it is that they have to say because you know the most important people you know your rough riders your ride or dies you know those people are coming from the right place they want what's best for you right not necessarily what's best for them or what's best what's gonna make the most money or anything like that they're coming from their truth right and so you have to be willing to sit down and listen otherwise what's the point of them being the most important people in your life so that's what I had to do right I had to kind of draw up everything like the pros and cons in terms of like the Philippines and Australia and where to stay and what to do now the Philippines is still my long-term goal right? I love that place I want to live there I will live there it's just a matter of time so instead of the end of the year it's most likely going to be three to five years out from now um, at which point you know I'll reassess my goals in and we'll go from there so the, what there are a number of different reasons why I made this decision, okay? And so you have to be, you have to look at your situation in life as well, and you need to figure out what's actually going on. Like, what's your ultimate goal? And then you need to ask the things that you're actually doing at that particular point in time. Is that uh, is that particular task? Is that particular action? Is that particular step going to get me closer to my ultimate goal? To what it is that I really, really want to achieve? And if the answer is no, then you need to be willing to reassess yourself. Now, you can be rigid on your goal, right? But you can be flexible with methods and times because sometimes there is a a, a law called the law of gestation, right? It's an, uh, basically, it's an incubation period where. The, depending on the goal that you want to set, it's going to take time. For example, it doesn't matter how hard I train today, right? If I'm 50 kilos overweight, if my goal is to lose 50 kilos tomorrow, I am guaranteed to fail. It doesn't matter how hard I train, how well I die. I mean, I could literally eat nothing for 24 hours, right? It's not going to make a difference because it takes time to put that 50 kilos on. It's going to take time to take it back off, right? So it's essentially the same thing. My goals are still the same. Right, my goal is still, still to get to the Philippines, right? So still, still to lose that weight, get down to 99 kilos. Um, but I, what I've done is I've changed the timeline that I've put in place and I'm going to be attacking things from here in Australia, right? And I am actually really excited about it now that I've reset my vision, reset my goal. Uh, because last week I was quite down. And the reason being is because for nine months I had spent uh, pretty much, yeah, just about every single day, sometimes quite often twice a day, recalibrating my brain my heart, my mind, my soul, to prepare myself for the upcoming challenge that was going to be the Philippines, yeah? And so, after you do that much conditioning of your, 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 your neural pathways, your mind, that becomes your reality, right? And then, then all of a sudden, just like that, in a single day where I spoke to three people and they've told me the same thing, and I've had to reassess the situation, I'm sitting there going, shit, I have to change everything now, right? So the goals are the same, but I have to change my methods and how I'm going to go about doing it. And that's the reason why I was down last week is because I had to I had to reassess everything that I created up to that single point. 
So I sat down today and I've done that. I mulled over everything over the weekend as to what it is that I want to do and how I want to go about attacking it. Right. And now I've got a plan in place. I've got my mind, my heart, my soul aligned. Now I'm not 100% there yet. You know, nine months of, of daily, sometimes twice daily conditioning is going to take time to get to get back on track. Right. But I'm back to my uh, I'm changing my, my my routines, if you will. I basically change my affirmations and my visualizing and my goal setting a day in the morning and at night so that I can get myself back on track and so once my mind heart and soul once they all align in the next few days and I'm able to recreate uh, the vision that I that I built in my mind right especially for the next three years while I'm here because essentially I was supposed to be there in six months time um, once I get that in mind then I'll be rolling again and you guys will see a lot more consistency and everything that's actually coming out so the other thing that I wanted to talk about is I did want to give you three tips of success that I got from my mentor today that um, I essentially applied without actually thinking about it really um, <clears throat> that for me, I thought would be helpful in, in ex helping to explain this particular situation. It will allow me to go a little bit further and you can apply this to your business and quite frankly, you can apply this to, this to anything that you want to be successful at, okay? So tip number one is uh, to have the right attitude. Be positive, right? So now being positive doesn't allow you to really do anything, but it does allow you to do everything. And what that actually means is that this whole just being positive, uh, frankly, is almost a complete piece of crap. It's, it's almost full of shit. So, but the thing is, is that what it does is that puts your mind in the right frame of mind. Like you guys know that I post all the time. Everything happens for an amazing reason. Everything happens for an amazing reason. Everything. In fact, I, I think I've got it as like my, my profile photo. I, I, I've got that actual quote there, right? And it's not just me being positive, right? It's, it's me reinforcing that, hey, no matter what comes, I understand that that obstacle is the actual way to go about doing it. Hey, Sebastian, nice to see you all, man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, bro. Um, so yeah, and so so tip number two that I actually wanted to share with you is to be the person that you would actually hire. And what I mean by that is whatever coach, whatever mentor, uh, whatever business it is that you want to get involved in, if there's someone that, that, that really resonates with you, it's because that's what you're aspiring to be. Whether you realize it or not, you look at that person and go, holy shit, that's amazing. I, I want to be like that. Now, you don't have to be a photocopy. You don't have to mimic someone. You don't have to copy exactly what they do. But you can essentially adapt the principles, the morals, the values, right? And put your own spin on it. And that's what I've done with my mentor. Because where I see him, like in terms of his business and his body, his mindset, that's where I want to be, right? So I, I mimic what he does, but I put my own spin on it, right? And so I, I would. that's my tip number two for you. So for tip number three is to don't quit. And I spoke about this earlier on as to why it is that I changed, right, from moving to the Philippines in six months to moving to the Philippines in probably three to five years. And the reason, and, and so understand that I'm not quitting on my goal, right? I'm simply delaying it because I believe that this is a better pathway. After speaking to the people that are in my inner circle, right, and them advising, they all essentially said the same thing, right? And I spoke to them individually too. This wasn't a group discussion. Uh, and they all said the same thing. So I had to be willing to kill my ego, right, but not quit on my goal. My goals are the same. I've just changed the post, right? So I've extended it out a couple of years instead of six months. Again, it's three years. So for you, if you're going to apply these things for your business, because I absolutely want you to be successful, right? Right. You need to have the right attitude because shit is going to happen. There are going to be difficulties and there are going to be challenges. And being positive and understanding that the obstacle is actually the way, meaning everything that happens, happens for an amazing reason. Once you work your way through it, that's the actual way to get to what it is that you want to do. It's not the obstacle, it's the actual way. And you need to figure out how to get through it, right? So number two is to, hire the per is to be the person that you would hire. If you're willing to spend money on someone, then be that person right? Mimic what it is that they do, model what it is that they do, but put your own spin on and personality in on it, okay? Uh, and the third and final thing is to don't, is to not quit on your goals ever. Again, you can extend the goal, the, the goal post as to how far out you want to put it so that you, but you're still going to get after it. You don't quit until you are successful, right? One of the most disappointing things that I see online all the time, especially on Facebook, um, and you see it on Instagram too, is that uh, one day, you know, one week someone's promoting e-commerce and then the next week they're, they're, um, they're doing Forex trading and then the next week they're in Bitcoin and then the next week they're in personal branding and then the next week they're in MLM and like they're, they're, they've got shiny object, object syndrome, right? And they're quitting on every single one of them, right? Remember the law of gestation, right? There, need, there needs to be an incubation period and a certain amount of work that needs to be put in, right? We spoke about this earlier on in order for you to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. If you want a six, if you want a six pack abs, right? You have to be put in, willing to put in the right amount of reps. You have to be willing to eat the right type of food for 
for a certain period of time, and then you're actually going to get them. It doesn't matter how hard you work today. It's not going to happen. You need to take time to build it out before it actually is going to take, uh, before it's actually going to take place. All right, so look, I hope you enjoyed those three tips, and how, I hope now you understand why it is that I changed, because I'm sure a lot of people out there have that question, have that doubt of why it is that I changed. Someone who, who preaches all the time about sticking to it no matter what, right? Why did I, why did I make the change? Now you know why. And I've given you three business tips on top of that that I've kind of taken away from this particular situation that I hope that you can use in your business and your life. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, you know how to get at me. Pop any questions in the comments below. If you want a private discussion about anything to do with your business or even your life, I'm here to help. This is what I love to do. This is what I want to do. All right, so hit me up. I'll talk to you all again soon. Take care, much love. I'll see you again tomorrow.